വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു മൈ ചാനൽ വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു ലേൺ ഇൻ നട്ട് ഷെൽ സോ ഇൻ ദ പ്രീവിയസ് വീഡിയോ വി സോ ഹൗ ടു സൈൻ അപ്പ് ഫോർ എൻ അക്കൗണ്ട് ഇൻ സെൻഗ്രിഡ് സോ സെൻഗ്രിഡ് ഇസ് എ മീഡിയം ത്രൂ വിച്ച് വി ക്യാൻ സെൻഡ് എൻ ഇമെയിൽ ത്രൂ അവർ കോഡ് സോ വിൽ ബി യൂസിങ് സെൻഗ്രിഡ് ഫോർ ദിസ് സോ ഇഫ് യു ഹാവ് നോട്ട് ചെക്ക് ദ ഔട്ട് ചെക്ക് ഔട്ട് ദാറ്റ് വീഡിയോ യു ക്യാൻ ഡെഫിനറ്റ്ലി ചെക്ക് ദാറ്റ് ഔട്ട് ഐ ടോൾഡ് ഹൗ ടു സൈൻ അപ്പ് ഫോർ എൻ അക്കൗണ്ട് ഹൗ ടു ഗെറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ആക്ടിവേറ്റഡ് so in this video let's um, you know write our uh, little code in nodejs and send out a mail uh, uh, you know through sendgrid uh, library which they have so let me create a folder let me give a name as sendgrid and uh, let me open this in vs code just type cmd in the uh, folder path over here and once that comes up can just give code space dot this will open up vs code and here let's initialize this has a npm uh, nodejs project so let's give npm in it and i believe it's y for keeping all as a default so that there would there won't be any questions asked otherwise they'll ask uh, every question explicitly so it's better to give hyphen y so it will create a package.json with all the defaulted values along with that let's create a a new file called index.js and uh, here the first thing that's required is uh the library so let's give it as send grid and uh, right require and give the module name so this is the module name let's try to install this if it's not installed there is no not uh, node modules also so we'll have to install this so for that we'll have to just type npm i and pass this so i've already done that previously so just confirming it's sent at the rate send grid slash mail just hit the enter button and it should get installed and you should see node modules coming up here to have all the required uh, you know dependencies installed so the next thing is um, we have to set the sendgrid api for that we'll have to give sendgrid slash uh, dot and there is a option called set api key click on that and then here you'll have to provide the api key now from where you'll get the api key uh, in the previous video i had already shown from where to get it you'll have to go to settings go to api keys uh, click on create so once you click on create based on whatever requirement it is uh, give the permission access i mean uh, permission for that api let me give it as test2 i'll give full access click on create and view and you need to copy this as soon as possible and paste it somewhere or else you are going to lose this you need to create a new api then so that's created i've copied it now let's go back and uh, paste the api which we just copied and paste it here now the next thing what you need to do is create a module dot exports and um, then provide um, the function as async and write function 
and open close if there's any parameter you can pass that here and open close curly braces and at the end uh, put a open close bracket so that it all uh, you know we don't have to explicitly call this function it runs as soon as we call index.js and uh, now let's test this first if console.log is coming so this is also done So you'll have to just type node and pass the file name index.js. So I'm seeing hi coming up here. So that's working. So next thing what you need to do is um, write down a draft for the mail. Just write draft, open close. The required parameter is two. to whom you are sending it, I will send it to my myself sorry for that gmail.com I will uh, duplicate this and give the from address same as this because the from address needs to be what you have configured in SendGrid so if you go to send grid and uh, check what is the sender you have verified and configured that's the same uh, from address which you need to provide so here if you see there is the from address which I have given and it's verified so I'll be giving uh, the same one So just put it here and paste it everywhere. Next thing what you require is uh, the subject. Uh, what is the subject you want to send? You can give it as my first mail with send grid maybe and then you can pass text to send it as a plain text and say hope you are doing good so there is a plain, plain text which I am sending now let's see if you send this uh, does it do the job so just give send grid dot send and provide the draft and make sure to put await as it uh, it will be sending out a promise it requires some time to process it so that you know the next line is called once this is completed let me store this um, in a variable um, send grid response and also we can print the response how this comes and uh, we can see what is the response coming like so send grid response so let's see how this comes up hopefully it should be working So it says 202 um, that means it is successfully sent let's see if you have received the mail here so there is a mail it says my first mail which sent it as a subject and a plain text hope you are doing good now let's modify this text uh, to you know make it a little more good so for that what you need to pass is HTML parameter and uh, with that HTML you can provide all the HTML tags here so you can write it as high team um, you can put a break put a double break and then write hope you are 
doing good put a double break again double break for a new line and you can write a regards comma put a break again and write learn in a nutshell so now let's see if this um, you know, gives us the HTML uh, uh, formatted uh, body so let me send this again if you see it is a 202 if you don't want to you know um, print out the whole thing then you can just provide uh, the status it should it's in the zeroth index and provide the status code so in this way you can avoid all those large responses which is coming back so let's run this again before that let's see what is the so if you see it is all formatted with the breaks which have given so that is also working well now let's try this um, send grade status code and see how this is coming here so it is just printing status if you want you can give some meaningful uh, text here status code and put a comma so you don't need to concatenate you can just put comma and uh, give the uh, variable which needs to be printed here so now let's see how this comes up so it says status code to not to so that's also working well and also this is also coming and good so you might see some this message and all because gmail doesn't take send grid mails very seriously but for your project and all this won't be happening uh, when i say project company projects so this is also done uh, now let's uh, quickly see um, what happens uh, when you don't send a verified uh, from address over here so let's give or let's create one more sender over here let's give the name has learn in a nutshell to let me give the email is closed uh, I mean it's the same slightly different uh, in name so so if I give yt reply to let me just give no reply you can give not available not available hopefully it should work let's see Okay, these are not required. Learn in a nutshell YT. Let's see what happens now. So as soon as you add it, the verified will be you know showing as with a cross mark. Now let me try to send a mail from this uh, sender email address now if i send this you'll see some error so you're not able to see the proper uh, you know the error message for that you need to do a try catch so let me put a try around this and let me catch the error what is coming so let me print that
so if I print this now still the objects will not come clean so you can put this inside this itself so now let's see so if you see the body errors are not printed properly so let's json dot stringify when you put json dot stringify and uh, you know uh, run this again again the message is not uh, you know beautified it is uh, response is not pretty so for that you'll have to just provide some extra parameter and uh, the second parameter should be null and the third parameter is about indent have to provide how many indents is required I believe so let's see now how it comes now if you see the message is clean you can read it and the error is also shown properly the from address does not match a verified sender identity mail cannot be sent so that's the message which it is uh, showing up for this what you can do is um, hopefully they might have sent okay let me open this mail so there is a verification mail which I have received so you'll have to just click verify sender once you verify this you should uh, see a tick mark here it says verified so it's verified now now let's try to send the same mail again okay I'm seeing this error again uh, it's verified so maybe it takes some time but as soon as you do that you should um, start receiving the mail to whomever uh, you're sending it can try after some time maybe it takes some time to propagate the changes so yeah that's about it um, that's about how you can you know send your first mail with SendGrid we've also seen how to uh, manage the errors how to see the errors with try catch and um, also we have formatted uh, the body with HTML and text so in the next um, video we'll see how to send mail with a template dynamic template so let's see that in the next video but until then hope you have all uh, liked this if you liked it please do hit the like button subscribe comment uh, and uh, yeah if you have any doubts you can post in the comment section let's catch you again in the next video until then see you bye it's actually it took some time uh, after some time uh, we were able to send it we got a uh, status code 202 so if you see here it's uh, address is low in nutshell yt just like how i set it in the previous video so let me quickly show that that it works after uh, the changes is propagated properly so once that is done you should see that coming up um, to whomever you are sending it